Man and time travel on. Na 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 na. Who will stand up for the revolution? Yeah. Man a ride on a represent Cause we never miss a step up for the culture Babylon a pray upon the youth Them life like vulture We break down barriers And our time travel yeah. Yeah. Revolution yeah. everywhere yeah. I am more than what you see I'm a educator I'm a b-boy I'm an organic gangster Organic gardener I represent for my community I represent for my friends I am because you are we are because they were, so it is. My name is Itap Hotap Vida, also known as DJ Cable Motivation, representing Historic Five Points. Evolving, adapting, changing, time is moving, let's embrace it. Past conditions, forward motion, polarization, the way it's open. Ancient wisdom, the tribe is spoken, let the circle be unbroken. When it comes to art, I think about what it means to be an artist. You're the product, you control the source. I'm a DJ and an MC. All I gotta do is suspend my own music. Most people don't really realize that, how the power of the DJ is, the power of the radio DJ. It's like, we don't spend it, no one knows. I'm a Cancer Sun, Leo Moon, Scorpio Rising, Year of the Tiger, you know, Red Earth, Blue Monkey, you know what I mean, Haru, like there's a lot of energy that's within me. You know, I am because of my ancestors. My parents split up when I was 11 years old. My life changed. I moved around a lot, constantly in and out of schools. My struggles were not having food to eat all the time. And we learned at a, at a young age, pretty much that you know you had to make jokes to kind of keep your stomach full, to think about how you have to go to church, you know, to be able to get into that food pantry and it really just changed a lot of the ways that uh, I thought about food. I lived two blocks away from a youth penitentiary, one block away from a liquor store, two blocks away from that youth penitentiary is the school where I went to. It affected me. My school was on lockdown. It felt like a prison. They chained the doors to keep people from ditching. I was acting up in school. I just had a bad attitude. And the attitude created, you know, this sorrow, this pain, which created the problems in my life. I had to change my ways of thinking. And it was music. Music shifted me. I started listening to reggae music. I started listening to this idea of healthy mind, body, and soul. And so with that, you know, MCing was a part of me. And then going to Cafe Nuba, doing my first poetry sets live on stage with my own family in the background, you know, taking the time out for them to see what I'm about. My mother took me and my little brother to Senegal, Mali, Ivory Coast. I was around age 13 still gang banging. And I realized that this was the time to end this mentality. I have a picture of standing in Gory Island with a blue rag over my fist, thinking about internalized oppression and how tribalism, it's ingrained in us. We're supposed to rep your hoods and supposed to rep your community. It's positive. But when it becomes violent, when it becomes destructive, and not, you know, constructive. When we're not investing in each other, and that's why I realized that, like, well, enough of this has happened, you know, in this land right here, which even made me want to become an organic gardener and an OG and do, you know, groundbreaking work with gangsters. I started attending protests for animal rights activism, anti-war protest. Wanted to really continue this peace and not compromise the future for my friends. My mother was hip. She always had tofu around the house, but she really wanted to express that, that healthy food was really what it was about. I started to eat kale and cabbage and collard greens, and that was really the life for me. So I really appreciated her. She took it to another level and showing me 
you know, food is medicine and health and wealth. You know, throughout one of the summers on our summer camp, we produced a video called Brown Rice and Broccoli, which really helped start this conversation against this uh, epidemic of fast food and processed potato chips. And this is really starting to run rampant in my community. So I just wanted to have a really cool approach with using children to talk to children. Brown rice in their broccoli. Brown rice in their broccoli. I can't get enough of that brown rice in their broccoli. Pour that vegan cheese on that brown rice in their broccoli. Our favorite snack to eat is brown rice in their broccoli. Fresh food. Eat food. Fresh food. Eat food. Brown rice in their broccoli. Brown rice in their broccoli. Our favorite snack to eat is brown rice in their broccoli. Got some old pork skins, gonna make a snack when I mix that in With some old petroleum, like what you get from the gas station Sell that to the children, tell them eat it when they chillin' But I bet that it will be cold when they find out they ate chitlin' You won't believe what I just caught, cause this some hardcore food for dog But it ain't fast food, give them blood clots, cause this right here is good for your heart DC, what I'm trying to mean, don't eat like a joker, eat like a king If I can educate a young man, tomorrow, he has the ideas of what it takes to be able to make those choices. The same way and the opportunities that happen for me should be available for young people. A lot of my students, if I don't go into these schools and if I don't save them, they'll end up right there across the street from my house, across the street from a crack block, and the liquor and groceries. We have to change that. I'm a Chef Boy RG, ghetto gourmet vegan chef. The way that I see food is the way that I see my friends and my family. It's very important to nurture it. It needs water, it needs time, it needs sunlight and affection. And so through the gang intervention work that we do, showing young people exactly what it means to be fresh by eating fresh. And the idea that this is the most gangster, most G'd up thing that you can do is representing your hood and growing food for your hood. Have a clean insides, clean mind, clean thought. That's fresh, that's success. You know, to be able to live as long as possible, to enjoy life, now that's success. Yo, when, when your shoes is glowing because you got so much soul, now that's fresh. I see food justice issues and people fighting for food justice when the problem really is the access. The problem is that people don't have the right information when you see young people out there, when you see elders in the community and, they, and they're really just suffering from diseases that are food related, and when you're talking about economic racism, you gotta think about how food deserts are directly related to access and health. Yeah. Uh. If you don't understand, it's the King Albert plan And the 1% scared of the free black man And my energy, look at me Body made of sun, moon, and stars Ride for the cause, full justice And free Mumia from the Mars Life is so hard My organization, Going Green Living Bling Shows young people in intergenerational dialogue How to grow food how to prepare the food, how to cook the food, culinary wellness, yoga, and how to sell the food. It was a holistic health hip hop festival originally called the Brown Sugar Eat Fest that put together homeopathic writers, b-boys, MCs, DJs, and graffiti artists, and like healthy vendors with healthy food and watch films around hip hop. I'm excited about the fact that we received this Keep It Fresh Day proclamation from the mayor and this is an amazing opportunity to maintain freshness and holistic health and mind-body medicine and showing that our curriculum is really affecting the people right here in the community and in our city. I've worked with almost 4,000 youth over the past couple years and to receive a nomination like the Music Educator Award from the Grammys for 2014 was a really great honor. I was directly working with people in the Denver Public School area and I was also getting opportunities to teach internationally. I started to understand that hip hop was the medium to really talk around food justice. 
got up with some really cool artists that I feel had the great prestige. Now you can hear my album in the clubs, but you'll also hear it as a written project for Wyoming University and Stanford Medical School is now utilizing this. Our curriculum, the produce section, which is the way of how to grow food and keep it G'd up, keep it gangster. It's been so impactful that Oprah Magazine did a really cool article on it. I've had a lot of great opportunities to teach organic gardening, holistic health awareness through the art of just being passionate about urban food. You know, the young gangsters needed the opportunity to rep their community. They got the biggest collard greens in, in Park Hill. They got the, the best broccoli on the east side. Like, you know, really opening up this conversation and showing that these young G's could like, you know, you can still sell greens, just not the ones you roll. The ones that you steam up a little bit. With music, that's my media. I use my own form of art. If you want to see art, then put it on the wall. You want to hear a poem, put it on the wall. You know, you really want to get down, get down on the ground. And I think about, is what I'm doing right now going to provide land for my great, great grandchildren? Am I really living to my potential? Am I eating the way I need to eat to be a great grandparent? Am I thinking the way I need to think to have access to my friends and a healthy mind? You know, I've seen my father. I have literally seen him struggle. And I'm determined not to. I'm determined to be the best. I can't breathe the air. I can't breathe the air. It's a polluted life. Power shift at the National Mall Brushing off them chemtrails Hopefully ain't on my plants There's enough black dust coming from your power plant Hit my low rider As I hit the Kona While we all got asthma Tell me who the owner Mercury in the fish, man Don't you see the acid rain Weather, man, they going the same Tell me I can make a change Cause I can't breathe the air I can't breathe the air I'm a G, I'm from the streets, I was born in it. 144 spokes with the